Well, you played hockey, so you have to go into the juniors. You have to go into the minors, exactly. all of those things. You went to Europe. Yeah, I did all that. It was the world's greatest experience. I'd never change it uh, for anything. I got hurt when I was 25, 24. Couldn't play anymore. Really happy that happened. <laughs> <laughs> would you, if, if you didn't get hurt, would you have gone into acting? Uh, no. No, I wouldn't have. I... I I probably would have, because if I wouldn't have gotten hurt, that means you're ending at 34, 35, maybe. Yeah. And uh, and at that point, like, what are my marketable skills? <laughs> Not a hockey. It was it. <laughs> you know, that's it. So I don't have, I didn't, I, I was really happy that when it happened, <clears throat> I... I, it, I was young enough to go, oh, I'll jump with two feet and not think about anything. I don't have anything to worry about. I got no anxieties. I got no responsibility. I'll just do what I did in hockey. And uh, I thought, like, if it worked, it worked. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. But, but what did your parents say when you say, I, you know, I want to be a professional goalie? They, well, well, when I first started playing goal, my dad did not want me to play goal. He was like, do not play goalie. Please don't play goal. Just go and have fun. And you're going to be a baseball player anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, you're going to be a catcher, you're going to hit, you know, 270, and you're going to be in the big leagues. Like, that was his, that was his thing. Uh, because my whole family were baseball players. Uh, I, I just didn't like it as much. So when, when I said I really, really, really wanted to play goal, and he realized I was serious about it. Best hockey movie of hard. all time. Uh, it's got to be slap shot. It's got to be Can you relate shot. to any of that? Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Every, <laughs> I mean, every character, every aspect of every piece of, I mean, even to the point where, I mean, I, for me, it was way crazier in some respects where when I went to Holland, they, 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 you're on the phone with your agent and they go, I'll, I'll go anywhere. I'll go. I was playing hockey in Germany at the time and I just wanted to like get a job somewhere. So they call me and say, oh, you, you, you got a, you got a t team in Groningen wants you to play. Okay, great. The, you're, uh, you're on a plane the next day. So I get to Groningen. It's exactly what I expected. It's Europe, and there's cobblestone streets, and there's like a, a ship in the back that like sells pancakes. And I was like, this is awesome. This is exactly what I want. And I walk up the stairs, and I'm, they've put me in a, it's a drug den. That's from living. And you're like, all right, this is minor professional sports. I'm used to it. The guy who's my roommate comes in. The, 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 it's a, I mean, it's truly a drug den. Because Harm, who's my roommate, uh, invites me up for dinner. And I'm like, all right, I'll go to the attic and I'll, I'll, Harm will cook me sausage and, and potatoes. And this is my first night. And, and I get up there and his room is like covered in newspaper. It's all in Dutch. <laughs> And he's got this cat running around, and Frank, who's a Rwandan refugee, is also my other r roommate in the attic. And I'm like, I'm not sure if what's legal and what's not. And the cat, as we're eating the sausage and potatoes, Uro was the, his name. Uh, it, by the way, Harm's about probably 70 and looks about 115. <laughs> and and the cat jumps on me, and he gets his he gets his nails in me, and I'm like, oh god! Look, and I pull the cat off, and he goes. Bah! And he starts losing his mind. This guy's nuts. And I'm like, whoa, harm. I'm like, stop. Go easy. And and he, then, then he stops. He picks up a bobby pin. He goes, ah, and he stabs his arm with a bobby pin. And he's dragging his arm down the bobby pin. And he picks up a rag to pick it up. And I see all of his drug paraphernalia underneath this rag. And I'm like, where am I? What did I do? Like, what? This is insane. And I mean, then you decide to get into acting. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but that was my first. But that's that was what was great about it. You know, that was what was great about professional sports. First the way, I love the guy. He became a friend of mine. And, I, you know, I, he was a great guy. But it was it was that was the kind of experiences that you can't get anywhere else. That was why you'll never change it, you know. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.